ABC One Mzansi for sure, and you know what time it is. So we're talking about TOMZ, the coolest science and technology show. And we have my TV in Vigi. We discover the coolest science and technology is in Zagala Lem And today we're going to be coloring your world as we discover the science of paint. Kaja kuru play two taka the color theory. Ibila rubana how paint is manufactured right here, Mum Zansi. Not only that, but we're also going to show you guys how you can make your very own paint. Color is all around us. It's how we see our world. Abantu have been using different materials to create their own paints for thousands thousands and thousands of years. I'm telling you, we're going to be discovering how some of these ancient methods are still used today. So here are today's highlights. Get it! We look at the theory of color. The color wheel is wrong. Ladies, see how easy it is to make your own nail polish and experiment with different colors. Discover the basic makeup of paint. Right here, Mom Zanzi. Find out how ancient civilizations used dyes to add color to their lives. And get some cool, awesome DIY apps for your smartphone. And stay tuned for words of wisdom from our guests on today's show. What is the color theory and how does the color wheel work? And how can you make your own paint? These are the questions that we asked you guys and this is what you had to say. Theory or color? Uh-uh. Oh, I don't know the color theory. Ish, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I remember the color wheel. Nah, no, I, I have read about it, but I've seen it and I don't know how to explain it. Oh, the primary colors. Basically, at school back then, yeah, we used to do art, so there was color, colors and all those stuff. There was a color wheel, yeah. My own paint. Um, I don't know, because I even tried it. Unless if I try. I, okay, no, I don't know what paint is made of. I don't really know what paint is made out of. No, but I also don't know how to make my own paint. If I can be given like ingredients and everything, maybe I can. My own paint. Um, I don't know because I haven't tried it. No, I don't know how to make my own nail polish. <laughs> no, I don't know how to make nail polish. Nail polish. Um, I don't do nail polish, but I, I don't know. No, I can't. Nope, also I don't know how to make my own nail polish, but I would really love to know how to, so that I can spend less. The color theory has to do with the art of and Mala to create new ones. Mala Omulomong only a different relationship to every other color. We want to the relationships in the best way we can, but we also want to the color wheel. The color wheel is basically the color spectrum twisted around so the violet and red ends are joined together. Traditional color theory is a use of the pigments and consists of primary, secondary and tertiary colors. The primary colors get red, yellow, and blue. These are the only colors that can't be created by mixing any of the colors together. How to answer any two of the primary colors or to secondary colors. Yellow and red gives you orange, red and blue makes violet or purple, and blue and yellow makes green. How to answer a primary color with its nearest secondary color or gonna create a tertiary color. Yellow and orange makes yellow orange, blue and green makes blue green, and so on. The complementary colors are the colors that are directly opposite each other and they create maximum contrast and stability. To understand how the color wheel works, so what can you do with this knowledge? i some awesome Tom's girls. If you want to get your very own nail polish, but for now, I'm going to take down some notes. So we can take down some notes. Method on how you can make your own nail polish color. So as you think I'm saying, when nail polish or clear, I'm a paper out too, I brush logo mixer, I'm a eyeshadow, nanny eyeshadow, umese, I container yog mixer lang a pagati, and just the extra knife just in case. So as you think I'm saying, so color, get 
ke mixing container yethu futhi siyoqala nge nge nail polish kubalekile ke ukuthi icontainer lakho likwazi uku 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 move kanje so that you can pour the content back into the container this is yavala this is what I eyeshadow yakho mean i picked this pink color and it will complement the color that i already have on this hand so you're just going to scoop it on onto uh, paper so it's empty now so you're just going to crush with um, your plastic knife the nail color make sure good to eat fine because they tell her ngapaka to go le um container le you can also mix your colors in kabangu go mixer gifage this color babu gel la pekai he eyeshadow so your normal eyeshadow that you do for your makeup, it's actually a great um, base for creating your own color. So it's actually very creative. Uguti, he eyeshadow onga ikalonga isebenzi sila pekaya utata uifage and make your own nail polish. So it's also a cool way. And unga komena na bangan ba kula peskolweni. Besi sisi ya mix agan jena. We are born again. The two different colors are coming in nicely together and they're going to give us a nice, nice color. So they tell agan je. This is so tatage our mixing brush and we're going to mix the content. Ganji. You have to make sure good we mix agahle. Yonke content ya mixega, so sesi ya mixa ganje. And the nice thing about this is that you are using recyclable objects. So njenga manje ngisebenzise ikhatini engivele ngalisika. Bese your other sheet of paper uthatha lona just to check ukuthi color li li kahle and then now that the mixing process is is complete, so we sell our beautiful color into our nail polish box. So tell manje you content to gula. So so tata i brush letu and just scoop the the remaining content. This is we faganga pagat and we continue to pour. Sengi avala sengi na ikaele kala lam engi tanda ente u pink e complementa le kala le sengi na yo. So sisi avala sizo ishigi shaga bangani sizo ishigi shaga kuluguti ishanga ni shanga ni sisi ngapaga tepo jelen. Sisi ishigi shaga bangani wenzaga kul so that sizo gua zuplende ngapaga. Sengi zoe testa ge ikala yam. So we test and tune. Give one a good tip. How many apply my coat? Beautiful, beautiful. Bang and lap him a kang. So if you get that one more time, just to make sure good tip blend the gilegas. First, we need to learn to talk about how paint is manufactured. Limes, anti. So stay tuned. I know you like to talk about paint, but you talk about English. Stick around as we discover the science of paint, and stay tuned for words of wisdom from our guests on today's show. Charms. Since we're here about and you guys are still tuning in to TOMZ, Konalago, SABC1, I'm Zanti for sure. Kaja kuri tuta about the science of paint. Luru wena uke kita tajwa your very own paint. I mean, think about it. From creating your very own colored nail polish to creating your own paint kao sebe di samayi. We also want to share with you guys how you can color up your world. Aha, sabasin jengi so kuti pende iyenzi we ngani and how paint is manufactured lai mzanti. We're also going to be discovering how people have been using colored pigment since ancient times. So remember kape later on we've got our social session where we will We'll be chatting up with you guys so please do go on tweeting us and facebooking us and who knows we might just be talking to you but before we do any of that as one in good season on today's episode it took the science of paint as we discover what it's made of so i on how to check a paint factory to see how paint is made and then we'll celebrate a south african legend the paint that we have is a combination of pigments, binders, solvents, resins, and additives. These components are not the same. A pigment is any material that we Pigments can be found throughout nature in clays, herbs, nuts, berries, charcoal, and soot. Pigments are ground down into powder to give paint its color. The binder is the main body of the paint. It carries and holds the pigment. Natural binders include a chalk, lime, and oil. The solvents apply the pigment and binder to a surface. Paints usually contain a combination of solvents, including ketones, alcohols, and glycol ethers. The solvents are volatile and they create the strong smell associated with paint. 
The raisins to hono to sapentor hono oma. Natural raisins include linseed, coconut, and soybean oil. Additives are added to the paint to do something specific. Some additives can carry antifungicidal properties, others can improve pigment stability. What's for Nuxola Gabanzi? How paint is manufactured, La Mzanti. To check out and learn more about the methods and processes, check this out. My name is Dave. I'm the CEO of McPherson Paints and we manufacture decorative industrial paints and varnishes on our premises. Today we're going to take you through to make an acrylic water-based paint and we're going to go through the process of how the product is made from start to finish, how the measurement is taking, taking place and how the stages of each component is put together to build up of the paint. I am going to the paint the first stage. Yeah, cut in white acrylic. The baguette lily, so bag it up, escaling so so color get deform, so far it deform like baguette. The color it deform, so color one kill. When we go to size, help out a little. Smash alone until see the see it depend. See smash our size. Masa nzala our size lan. Depend the age. The quality lay by the way of formulation. So, where are you? NP9. Measurement is um, Fnegas fan is on the first stage. Corner lazo sugar corner man forget this person. It is special in one kilo. It is special. Mr. Inzoayo. Kuti Bambi pend. Kuti be strong. He's strong. I can be faggy two kilos. Faggy one kilos. This way I'm a zong. This is bigger appetite. I said this tattoo was tattooed the end as a piece of tele amounts. This telling is courtesy one. The first stage, yam. I act decidedly. This is a tele ion. This is a tele e two kilos. Act decide. Tele e meselus. This is a tele four kilos. Tele e calgon, man. Two kilos. Faga and pepinelli one. In the decorative area, you've got the water-based paints. Let's start on the water-based paint. You've got the normal PVAs, which is an undercoat, and then you get the PVAs as a finishing coat. Then you've got a, an acrylic, which is a bit higher than a PVA, which, because of a high acrylic content. And then after that, you get a, a, a texture coat, which is used for uh, exterior walls mostly. Then you get the super acrylics, which is a, 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 a matte finish paint, is mostly used for interior. And you get the sheen based paint, which is washable and can be used anyway. We are making a Guardian acrylic white PVA, a high hiding. And we're doing the first stage. We added 400 liters of water. Now we're adding the actis, uh, the mesolos. And the, and the calgon. The calgon helps to soften the water. The mesolos thickens the water. Now, now we add the deformer to pull all the foam down so that we don't have foaming uh, occurring. Now we add the NP9, which is a surfactant, which makes it soapy, allows it good dispersion, like, like a wetting agent. This is a biocide we add in the water. The biocide helps to keep the paint as a long, uh, for a longer period of time. It kills all the bacteria or the germs that creates the paint to smell. This is a dis disperse, dispersing agent. It actually helps for the paint not to separate. It's an anti-settling chemical. Ammonia helps to get the pH. So we adjust the pH by adding the ammonia. Now we, we're doing stage two, where we're adding the pigments in the process where the pigments must grind. This is titanium dioxide, which is a white pigment for this particular paint, which is a, an acrylic PVA white. The first stage, we created the thick condition with using the mesolos. Now it'll help to grind this titanium. And once it's grind, we'll know with the fineness of grind gauge, then we can carry on the next stages. Now that we've finished grind all the fillers, the pigments, we need to bind them. If you don't bind it, one rain comes, it'll wash the paint off. 
This part, what we pour just now, is the softening agent for this for the styrene, so that it doesn't create mud cracking. Once we finish mix here, we're going to add in a product that will thicken it, and create, and, and that product will is called a rheological modifier. And now we have come to the final part of the paint, which is made. The viscosity is right, the coverage is right. It's ready to drop on, into the buckets. This is how the final paint will look like. Not only that, but they've made a name for themselves. They also inspire other artists to take up the brush. So do you guys know your legends? Well, let's go and find out. No, I don't. Like, I'm not really into art, actually. So I don't, I don't know stuff. No, uh-uh. No, I don't. I and Lazi get the IVs. Uzamani Romeo Makanya graduated from University of Fort Hare in 1985 with an honors degree in fine art and a higher diploma in education. As a young student, Watola Ama awards Ambalwa for his artwork. He found inspiration in images from newspapers and magazines, and his early works expressed political turmoil of the 80s. Michael took Fundisai art for some years. He retired in 1999 to focus on his own work and established a base for artists in Durban by forming a group known as Third Eye Vision. The group criticized the old artistic traditions and focused on the importance of being African. Uzamani prefers Uksaben Sama oil pastels and built up his color surface before Asaben Sa'i technique Esibiza's graffito to edge into the surface and provide color variation and texture. He has participated in Guma exhibition Amaning and is a true living legend in the arts. But this way we can social with you guys on our social session. So right now take your phones and start tweeting, leaving comments on our social media and we'll be back. Stay tuned. We find out how ancient civilizations colored their world and get some cool DIY apps for your smartphone. And stay tuned for words of wisdom from our guests on today's show. Charms. 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 TOMZ right here on SABC One Mzanti for sure. And in as we're today, we're going all colorful as we discover the science of paints and how you can make your own paint yourself. Kandete so far really wanted to how you can make your very own colored nail polish. Ibila Rachakela, a paint company who bona hurbona by manufacturer Zhuang Pente right here, Mumzanti. But what about making your very own paint? Well, if you want to find out, you have to stick around. Uh huh. And in a quarter of we're good to We've still got our social session coming up a little bit later on the show. So grab your phones right now, leave us a tweet or a comment via our social media and who knows we might be saying holla to you so for now here's what's coming up next let's go see how ancient civilizations use natural pigments to color their bodies and get some cool DIY apps for your smartphone. Since ancient times, but to khalo basa belisa di pigment, it's like a mahara nature who rubana ba kono hukenya mala in their appearances. Hono jano ngaru kutele mo raut lo kono hubuaka some of these interesting customs. Around 4,000 BC, Abafas Vama Egyptian were applying a blue-green paste of copper minerals called malachite to their faces to add color and definition, all in the name of beauty. In 3000 BC, Abanbama China began staining their fingernails with gum arabic, gelatine, beeswax and egg. The colors of their painted nails represented their social classes. The royals Bebakoga e gold and silver and the lower classes were forbidden to wear any bright colors. Around 1500 BC, Japanese and Chinese people bakale oxaben sa rice powder to make their faces white. They paint their teeth gold or black and stain their hair and faces with henna dyes. Later on, the Indian culture created mandi, an art form Sa Amahenna dies to design paintings on hands and feet, especially before a Hindu wedding. Henna remains a popular art form, Nanam Sai. Jungobanas Babugela Pekai go to on paper and on your actual nail are two different things. Konaman, now the exciting part comes with things they call the Emma Zipeni Army. Singa Halelisa Abachumbam. Just to make it neat, Statale Prashe too and we clean up the edges. Jayange precision manj. Kiboni lo guti umang toba la. Ama i content benga shanga nanga gacha sung pinde ngay shigi sha besa sujo zama lele zipolele. And now so sok toba the final nail. The thumb. And there you have it, Babuge Lapekaya, my very own DIY nail polish color. So, you guys are coming up and I'm going to mean and you guys are going to be in the color of the color. 
ever mining for smartphones and with color mixing and combination. The Mixing Colors app is easy to use to customize colors by mixing basic ones. Color schema is great. You can find a combination that match a built-in color wheel or simply take a palette right from an image. The Color Genius app is fun to use ngoba is ogngata utole the perfect makeup combination to suit your outfit and mood. Ofonu gwenzenje is simply take a picture of your outfit, choose your look and then decide to blend it, match it or clash it. For more info on apps like these, go to www.toms.co.za and follow the links. What's up everybody, time for another social session here on Tom's mm -hmm. where we chat to you via social media. Nam Klanja, I've got Usianda on Twitter and Uti, she's the biggest Tom's fan. Well, thank you very much, Sianda. And we love hearing from all our Tom's fans. I've got a George Gubu Sobangwati Oti. He wants to know why paint uses red, yellow, and blue as primary colors, but digital primary colors are red, green, and blue. Good question, George. We are born again. Solid matter, like pigments, absorb a certain amount of light and then reflect the rest. So the color label now is a combination of light waves being reflected. Well, light through a prism mixes a little different than when light is hitting a solid matter. I'm a Computer and our digital cameras emit their own light, which means the colors are mixed with light. That is why they use the additive color system. Interestingly, if you mix all the colors in the system, but when solid matter absorbs all the light waves hitting it, okay, let's go get some words of inspiration from Maka Sweet on today's let's episode. Go get it. To kids out there who wants to get into the paint industry. They have to contact SAPMA, South African Paint Manufacturers Association, that they will get proper training. There's about 12 modules which they have to go through and to develop themselves. And SAPMA is an accredited paint company, paint institution, where you can learn and develop. And then you can do your in-service training in a in a paint manufacturing company. Hello, Lord, about the more information regarding today's episode, while well, start checking our website, which is www.tomz.co.za, and continue talking to us on our Facebook and Twitter pages. But for now, I'm not today in the we will look at the color theory and tell us how the color wheel works. We will learn how easy it is to make your own nail polish using eyeshadow as your color pigment. Try this at home and send us your pictures on our social media sites. We discovered the scientific makeup of paint. We found out how ancient civilizations used We found out how ancient civilizations used colors to paint their bodies. We also shared some cool applications for you to download on your smartphones. We also shared some cool tips and advice from our guests on today's show. So for more information, go to our website at www.tomz.co.za. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook and on Twitter. And that's it from us, guys. Catch you on next time for another exciting episode of Tom's for some more awesome and amazing science and technology. Until next time, I fear to keep it fresh. We are out of here. Next time on Tom's, Naliba Kutiba Karakri Tutaka, the science of aerosol cans. Find out how they work. And we also find out how they are used. Don't miss an episode of TOMZ every Monday and Tuesday at 4 p.m. only here on SABC1 Mzanti for sure.